So I'm going to go ahead and create this video here in a breaking down process for how to successfully or potentially defeat the Arbalist exotic linear fusion rifle. This revision is for PvP purposes and serves as a blueprint for players out there to break down the weapon play or play style and how to work around the weapon on the field should you encounter this in battle or in a stack. This may not give 100% success but adaptations here and there can give you something to work with some of the time if not most of the time. This revised assessment is from my own perspective having fought the weapon many times and having used it on all of my characters a handful of the time as well. Different experiences may yield different findings and so my revision panel is open to you. Alright, let's start by breaking down the perks. The compounding force, that's a specific PvE activity perk. It means nothing for PvP standards, so there's nothing to worry about here. Next I want to go into Disruption Break. Disruption Break is a problem maker and a problem solver in one. Enemies are vulnerable to added kinetic damage for a brief time when breaking down their shield, or when breaking the shield. That buff takes place the second the gun hits its target. Also, being a kinetic exotic, the gun itself gains an added likely 50% increase to damage. That barely leaves you alive if the guy didn't just headshot you to begin with to fully take advantage of the perks procting on hit confirmation. Next is charge time. There's a specific sound that cues off when Arbalist is charging. It's very distinctive to this gun. You don't hear it right away going around a corner until you're right there. The person aiming is already charging before peeking said corner. Not charging before a challenge, the gun has a somewhat slow charge time that can be taken advantage of if you're playing aggressively or tactically or coordinating with your team. I want to say that the sound here and the bullet shot is about maybe two to three seconds of a wind up time. Next is Shield Regeneration, which plays to Arbalist's disadvantage, I feel. The perk can only be taken advantage of when the opponent has a shield for disruption break to play off of. The gun shoots like a straight nail gun. Exclusive of a critical hit mark one-shot kill, the weapon generally two hits an enemy. Even with supers active, it takes two hits for a kill confirmation unless the initial hit was already a critical hit. Before a challenge or a re-challenge sometimes, keep this in mind and use the environment to your advantage to either close a gap or else create it to better your shield's regeneration time. The next point of interest I want to point out is to keep an eye on the armor sets that come into play should Arbalist be a factor in that PvP session. There are armor perks that may be tailored or played to the strengths of rifle class, linear fusion rifle, and kinetic slot based perks and weaponry. Glance your enemy armor pieces closely if they're carrying the weapon on them. Attention to detail is very key to knowing how one Arbalist player plays differently from another. And by that, I mean by a few variables, including the way that they shoot to tag you and have a teammate clean you up instantly from that buff, or aiming to get headshots only for the one shot kill or the rate in which they're regaining special ammo to allow themselves to shoot more freely or more consistently or potentially even be aggressive with the gun. And then next I also want to go over possible weapon counters that can counter linear fusion rifles or in this case that can counter the arbalist. They may work for other linear fusion rifles or fusion rifles in general, I know not. But again, trial and error is key to this. I will say that the gun does have a slow startup time that requires you to pre-charge before going around a corner for a challenge. This gun does terribly in a 1v1 situation and it is not to be falled back on unless at mid-range at the very least. From there you can basically challenge because they're not going to be able to shoot fast enough. I feel RPM weapons have a finicky but brief chance of facing this weapon some. Not with damage output but with DPS itself on the enemy to flinch your way past the Arbalist gun. To be specific, considering how Arbalus is to be played, my opinion is that sidearms, hand cannons, or sniper rifles, and potentially shotguns 
I feel have a presence against Arbalus, if not a strong presence on their own in the competitive environment. A 90 RPM or even a 140 RPM sniper could be ideal for a challenge with good aim and patience and environmental awareness. And to keep in mind also how many times that Arbalus was fired before your next potential contested challenge to that player. Regarding RPMs with the sidearms or hand cannons, I need to be specific some so it's not just assumed that any sidearm or hand cannon can just happen to challenge an Arbalist and win. These have to be specific weaponry that play into their time to kill ratios. All the guns have a trade-off for strengths and weaknesses based on their rounds per minute, which affects the time to kill. And it pays over time to keep that in mind. What is the strength and the weakness? What is it giving up in order to have this benefactor? I'm going to show you guys a screenshot I took on Reddit sometime last year to a post that a fellow Destiny goer created that made sense as to what you want to consider when playing different hand cannons for something specific. Not creating a build or whether or not it's a kinetic hand cannon or an energy hand cannon, but what type of hand cannon is it on its own? How does it shoot? This is what I try and keep in mind, and it's what I want to share to you. So when you try to pick the right hand cannon for this challenge, you have an idea as to where to begin. In addition, while this may be represented differently, but the same rule also applies to the sidearm and sniper rifle weapon classes as well. Factors of teammates may also affect the success rate. Let me know as soon as you can how this all sounded to you. Did I do a good job covering this revision? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything important? Let me know. Update me. Please do give me some feedback to those looking to catch a break from overused tools for the job of PvP. Y'all take care. And as always, to all are...